Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to Little Helpful Files. My name is Lindsay. We do cash budgeting and savings challenges, just life in general, all through the glory and by the grace of God. We are doing a mini savings challenge here. I did already do a portion of it that you can find in my short. I did my binder where I have the Bible verses on that one. So you can head over there to give that a watch. And then we're gonna take the remainder of it to stuff in here. Since that one's a roll the dice, I figured I would do that so one we started first. with 196. Let's see what we've got. Um, so we still have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. So that's 140, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. So we still have 161, which means that a majority of this is going to be going to the 32 envelope savings challenge. All right, so we're gonna total up what we need here because I wanna make sure that we can do the remainder. So we need $79, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna do, I don't know if I have one. We'll do 80. Yeah, there's definitely a one in here. All right, so what we'll do is... All right, well, my phone ran out of storage, and I didn't realize it stopped recording. Um, so I actually colored in these envelopes. I had to go and delete a bunch of stuff from my phone to try to hopefully get enough storage. So we'll see if it will continue recording. But we are going to count this up and make sure that we have enough. Um, I did not do that because I realized that it stopped recording. So we've got 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, and 28. All right, 5, 28. Perfect. So we have exactly what we wanted for this challenge to save and we will put that back into the bank and decide what we want to do then for our mini challenges. I had these, but since I'm doing that other binder, I might put something different in here. So, all right. For the next part, I am going to stuff my spread the love challenge. So we are... Let's see, we're gonna do in here. Woo! And I might be getting a little bit sleepy. So we're gonna put in, let's see, 20. Ooh, so sad. All right, guys, give me a minute. <laughs> so we are putting 20 in here. I got those colored in. And I have not counted this in a while. So let's see. We have the flowers still to finish. The other ones we did finish. Let's put those in here. And then let's see what we have. We actually went to a wedding this weekend. Um, it was beautiful, but I love it. You know, 1 Corinthians 16, 14, let all that you do be done in love. So much love in the air. It was just such a beautiful venue and wedding. All right, so 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 140, 150, 155, 156. All right, so that's awesome. So this one I'm going to be using probably for blessing. I'll still probably use the envelope to send, you know, off with somebody, but then I'll probably use the rest of it towards like a charity. I have loved doing this. Um, Y'all will have to let me know in the comments if you've also had the same thing. Um, just being able to send this to somebody, hand it to them, bless them. It's just a really awesome way to give and to show the love of Jesus. So next up, we are doing in the Bible verse. So James will be five. So we'll go ahead and um, let me use a different marker. We'll do. Let's see. Sorry, baby is so tired. I might not be able to get through all of this. We'll see. Now, so five is going in this one. All right, so we are going to read from James um, since that's what I stuffed. 
And I know a lot of the times people talk through the faith and works, but of course, because we are talking through, you know, budgeting and finances, I want to talk about misuse of riches. So James 5 speaks on, it says, Come now, you rich, weep and howl for your miseries which are coming upon you. Your riches have rotted and your garments have become moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver have rusted and the rust will be a witness against you and will consume your flesh like fire. It is in the last days that you have stored up your treasure. It reminds me of the verse where it says that the camel, it's easier for the camel to fit through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Um, because again, as we are doing all of this, we just have to keep in mind that we don't put our faith and our hope and our trust in our finances or material things or any of that. It has to be in the Lord first and foremost. And so my son, you know, reading through some of his history was actually reading on the Egyptians and it was so crazy, you know, just again, remembering how they would, you know, prepare for the afterlife of what they thought was going to work. And they were buried with all of their, you know, treasures and their items and their things, like thinking that they were taking all that with them and they were trying to preserve it all. But none of that goes with us from this life. And, um, you know, I just think it says down here too about being patient to strengthen your hearts for the coming of the Lord is near. And we, it says, we count those blessed who endured. You've heard the endurance of Job and have seen the outcome of the Lord's dealings, that the Lord is full of compassion and is merciful. So again, like Job's a great example, right? He loses everything and um, he goes through a lot of hard trials and a lot, a lot of difficulties, but he still kept his eye on the Lord, even though at times he, you know, had weakness, he is human, but he remained faithful and God in the end blessed him um, through all of that. And so I think that that's just where we've got to remain steadfast in keeping the eye, our eyes and our focus on the Lord, which, you know, that is my hope for any of this that I'm, you know, hoping to encourage you to do that. I'm hoping that, um, all of these trackers, these savings challenges, I'm hoping it will help you to keep God first and foremost, because it makes everything else so much more achievable and attainable to do. All right, so we're doing a 20 in this one. I always think I pick the right marker and then it always looks different when I go to use it. It is so hard to know. And I am trying to do this one-handed because my daughter is really having some stomach issues. So I'm trying to hold her up a little bit more um, instead of having her kind of laying like I was. All right, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, so 120, all right. This one has taken me a really long time because I'm not even, I've <laughs> not even been focusing on it or prioritizing it at all. Um, I don't have my coin, so I'm not scratching that one, and I can't remember. I think I finished that one, where are we? Oh yeah, this one I needed to finish. Oh, I forgot guys, so that'll be good. Another one to finish. Oh, she's getting so sad. All right. So let's see, what do we have here? So this is another one. So we'll have some more going into the bank. And again, I've got to clean that off. Does that mean, yeah, okay. So that means we finished all of them now. So let's see, 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, whoop, whoops, 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 so that's 100, put that in there. All right, y'all, so I still have some left of stuff, but I'm going to have to do that off camera because I've got to tend to the little one here. Anaya is just needing some extra attention. She's been really struggling with um, gas and reflux and going to the bathroom. So it's been some moments of, you know, just really needing to kind of do the leg exercises, rub on her belly and work on her. Um, but I thank you guys for being here as always. I hope and pray that y'all have a blessed rest of the week. Oh. I will see you guys in a video soon. Love y'all. God bless.